In this tutorial, I will show you more advanced features of Chart View. You can customize Chart View's look and feel and indicator settings in the Settings view. Settings view can be accessed in the toolbar menu or more conveniently at the bottom right corner. Now let's change the indicator to something else. Um, say ADX and overlay to Ichimoku Cloud. Now when you change to Ichimoku Cloud, if you're familiar with the indicator, the future time extension will be set to the Kijun period, 26 day. The future time extension is the it can be customized here. It's automatically changed to 26 already. It means the right side of the chart where the price information is not available yet will be extended into the 26 days into the future so that you can make price projections uh, more visually convenient. You can also customize the volume moving average. We're gonna just leave it here and now you can change the color scheme. Right now the white background uh, is selected and scientific high contrast is a dark background. Let's see what it looks like. And candlestick chart type, you can select line chart and the various uh, candle uh, styles and bars. Let's see what line chart looks like. You can also turn on and off uh, various grid lines and uh, crosshairs, also font sizes on the la access labels. Now the chart is updated. You can still see the uh, open, low, high, close um, price and indicator information uh, even though it's a line chart. And you can scroll back and forth. And this is the Ichimoku cloud, and the indicator also changed to ADX. The future time extension uh, is this part, where there there is no price information above this point. This is the today, and the future time extension is used to display the future um, extended. In this case, Ichimoku Cloud uh, indicator overlay, or um, more often you can use future time extension to make trend line projections. I'll show you more about trend lines later. Now let's change the chart back. Um, let's let's select another indicator stochastic for example and uh, let's just search select EMA and now we don't need a lot of future time extension if we're not in Chimoku cloud so we want to change back to say let's just say three days and I want to change the chart back to the white background because it's easier for the presentation and chart type to candlestick um, oxymoron coloring is um, I'll show you in a moment what that means the chart is update data again okay. you can select the trend line you just drawn and delete like so now let's see what the chart looks like in the maximum time frame. This is the Indian uh, Stock Exchange Index, NSEG with a carrot sign, that's a Yahoo um, uh, extension, that's a, I mean Yahoo Symbology, um, Yahoo Finance Symbology. Uh, it's used throughout my app to find stock symbols. As you can see the chart is the log scale you can turn the log scale on and off. Now it's a linear log. In the long time uh, frame, the log scale looks better. Go back to the daily chart. I'll show you more uh, what, um, I'll show you everything about the 
the toolbar. You can show and hide toolbar with the this button, menu button. With the toolbar hidden, the chart is more you can see see more clearly, uh, especially on the right side of the chart. And with the toolbar shown, you can set various useful uh, commands. For example, the share button will capture the screen, make a screenshot of your chart, and you can share with your friend. And uh, the red refresh button will re-download the historical EOD chart from the screen editor server to replace your locally cached if you believe that your, your cache is out of date or corrupt. And the eraser button here um, will remove all the trend lines that was drawn previously. For example, this trend line that we just drawn. Now it's cleared. And the news button, go to Yahoo RSS news feed and you can click on individual news headline to open the article. Buy sell button I will cover in a separate tutorial for trade your brokerage. You can actually buy and sell and enter real uh, uh, stock trades um, through my partner brokerage trade uh, when you sign up. You click now it's not linked so you'll ask if you want to sign up I highly encourage you uh, if you are resides in the United States I highly encourage you open uh, account with the trader brokerage because they will supply you more accurate and faster uh, quotes also you can uh, see options and they do offer very competitive commissions you will also get $50 rebate when you sign up. And the play button, placed pause button is to um, update charts automatically without you having to press refresh or not when you're not even looking. Uh, it will cost you more bandwidth, uh, but uh, if you're looking at the intraday charts, like five minutes charts and, and so on, uh, for day trading, it is somewhat useful. Um, this is toggle show hide across here. Now it's not showing the cross here. When you click on here, now it is. Uh, online offline mode is uh, for when you don't have the internet. You can download all the historical charts and you can open this chart when you don't have internet and still analyze the chart offline. Um, this I already covered in the previous tutorial. Trend line, you can draw a trend line with one or two fingers. With one finger, you select start and end. Then the line will automat automatically extend uh, to the past and future. That's uh, not really a good example of trend line, but I will show you. Um, for example, you see that Let's show a little longer time frame. Will the trend line be more clear? For example, this one. To use two fingers to draw the trend line, you can control both uh, points at the same time, like so. And uh, automated trend line downloads the automated trend line from the server. Now let's clear this. Let's see what automated trend line looks like. This is my uh, signature feature of my uh, product that you can download. Um, the the app generates uh, trend line automatically for you, and you can select the ones you see um, that doesn't fit, for example this one, 
this one probably belong to a longer time frame so it doesn't really show up in the chart very well so if you go to the maximum time frame let's regenerate the trend line again can erase them or hide or show trend lines and you will also have Fibonacci tool you can use this to set, show the Fibonacci levels Annotation tool. You can enter your text phrase. Now the text appears where you clicked. Screeners. Screener will take you to a screen screener uh, section which doesn't belong to the chart view. And there are more features um, in the settings. I can show you. Um, You can select automated, automatically generate trend line on chart open or do not save trend lines and uh, annotates. If you select this option, the trend lines that previous generated was deleted automatically. 